Hello, and welcome back to Pokemon Moon. Last time we beat the game. This time, we start in our house, and there's some post-game stuff I want to I want to do. I'm not going to do everything in the post-game on camera, but I'm going to do, like, the plot points. Also, there's a Zygarde in my house. You've collected another Zygarde core. Each of these core moves are memorized by the Zygarde cube, so you can use it to teach Zygarde his moves as many times as you'd like. I don't know why there's a Zygarde core in my room, but hey, whatever. Looks like you slept well, Medi. Alola, the salty breeze sang to me and brought me here to you. Meow. Oh, and there's that Cantonian mouth. Look at that shiny head on your, look at that shiny coin on your head, kitty kitty. I finally got my gramps to go all out and be serious in a battle against me. I got some sweet rewards, so take this one, Mitty. Good luck is best shared. We got the Desidui Z Crystal and the Incineroar Z Crystal. Now you can power up too, Medi. That's so nice of you, Hal. Thank you. Nah, no problem, Monty. Say, is Kanto, like, really far away? Not really. Yeah, I'd say it's pretty close. Close enough to visit whenever you want to. Alright, then it's decided. I'm gonna get stronger and stronger, and then I'm gonna travel the world with my Pokémon. I'm gonna go find Lily, and my dad, too. Your father? Oh yeah, him. Heh. <laughs> He's a strong trainer. Real strong, I think. But I guess he really hated being the son of a kahuna and everything, yeah? So he works far away from Alola these days. I think I'm gonna go train myself up at the battle tree, then beat you, Medi. I'll be a champion next time I see him. Seems like a nice little present, huh? <laughs> What's a battle tree, Hal? Oh, it's this thing way deep on Pony Island. Anybody who's passed the island challenge, or is strong enough to anyway, can battle that out with their Pokemon, or so they say. Medi, let's have the best b ever battle at that Pokemon League sometime. No backing out. That's right. Now that you're the current champion, everyone's going to want to challenge you. Meow. So, we have one lead for plot, is there is plot on the way to the battle tree. Hey, you. You're the one they call Medi? That's me. Hmm, a certain interested party sent me here to give to you, to give you this. An enigmatic card. You should have a look at what it says. Take care where you read it. No one else is to know of my visit or that card. Right then. So we have two leads. At least I think so. A request for you to go to a guest room in a Akala Motel on Route 8. There's also a few miscellaneous things that I know of. I'm trying to use fly from the Pokemon menu again is not one of them. One day I will learn. One day. First... I want to go to Potown. Later days, Team Skull. Farewell, my misfit youth. I guess they removed the barricade. I believe there's something in here that I can get. Ready for fly rhymes in your ear, yo? But yo, what are you doing here, yo? This is what's left of our Team Skull hideout. Gotta get paid, then we gonna ride out. Team Skull leftovers represent. We may have lost, but we won't ever relent. 
feel like we fell right in the abyss. So why'd you come to a place like this? The clothes you're wearing are so unbearable. To tell the truth, I found it quite hysterical. Hey, yo, check spin to spin it. Spin to is spinning it. Looks like you got no sense of fashion, yo. Don't you know that that's our passion, yo? I'll show you what we got to help you decide. We got more. We got tops more fly than a Charizard glide. We got the roughest tank tops you've ever seen. When you wear a skull tank, you're sure to look mean. With the price so low, you can't say no. It's just ten thousand dollars. You want to buy one, yo? Heck yeah, I do. You bought a skull tank. Making mad sales to get out of this scrape. Gonna get that money and make our escape. There you go. You can get a Team Skull Tank top. You just have to go put it on somewhere else. And also, one thing I want to look at is I neglected to go to the room Gladion was looking at in the Aether Foundation basement. Where there are apparently some log entries about type null. I went to double check that you could actually go here again. And I was accosted by plot. So there is some sort of plot down here as well. I turned it off before I could see too much. But Wick's over here. Maddie, welcome back. I have to tell you how much I appreciate for what you did for Miss Lily and Madame Lusamine. Miss Lily asked me a last favor before she left. She wanted me to explain to you why she and her mother had to go to Kanto. You see, while we don't, while we do not know if it was because of Nihiligo's neurotoxins, your fusion with that beast, or the strain of the Z power, the ill effects of this episode on Madame Lusamine's body and mind have been undeniable. She's hardly roused since. But Miss Lily found a ray of hope in a book that she remembered reading long ago. It was regarding a man named Bill, who invented the Pokemon storage system used in our PCs. This inventor, who lives in the Kanto region, once combined himself with a Pokemon in an experiment that apparently went awry. Just like Lusamine. Yes, perhaps there are even more examples in the world of people fusing with Pokemon. The records of this event, however, say that he was separated from the Pokémon by using his teleporter and a cell separation system. Perhaps using the same kind of procedure on Ms. Madame Lusamine will be able to remove the last of the beast poisons from her system. That is what Miss Lily was hoping when she headed to Kanto. It pained me greatly when both Miss Lily and young Master Gladian left Aether Paradise, but I'm so proud to see the fine young people that they've become. Even sheltered little Master Gladian tried to patch up his own clothing, he said, when his partner Null tore them. Oh, I'm sorry. You probably aren't interested in hearing about that sort of thing, are you? Here, please accept this. Hooray, free food. Oh, and take another, too. Hooray! I'll be returning to Secret Lab B so that I can get back to work. Secret Lab A is the one I neglected to enter. Let's see what this is. BKP Development Record, record Number 2. NTUB Fighting Life Form, Beast Killer. The President has approved the proposed budget for this development project, so it will be implemented. Materials for development have been collected from the Canalave Library in the Sinnoh region. Plans are being drawn up for the specifications of the type change program, known as the RKS system. Work is underway on designing the specifications of special memories for said system. Collection of cells of, of all types for genetic modeling has been completed. Blueprints for the skeletal structure have been approved, and incubation of the bioframe is underway. Dummy test of the RKS system program has been completed. Type has been successfully altered with all 18 special memories. The transplantation of the RKS system program to the models is underway. 
BK's official name has been set as type full. Production of three models has been completed. They are identified as serial number one, serial number two, and serial number three. All three models rejected the RKS system upon initialization during testing. Shortly after these initialization errors, all three models of type full went berserk. Models have been fitted with control masks to mitigate the effects of their rejection of the RKS system. Due to the implementation of these control masks, our RKS system initialization tests have failed. All three models of type full are to be cryogenically frozen for the rest of eternity. The name of these models has been changed from type full to type null. And that's where type null comes from. This is the blog of F, a branch chief working in the Alola region. Are you interested in success, dear readers? Allow me to introduce myself. My name is F, and I am an elite, self-made man. Here on my blog, I will show you the way to succeed. Currently, I am working on the development of a special sort of ball, which I took over from my predecessor in parallel with another project. Seeing how well I multitask impresses my subordinates and increases their motivation. Showing how skillful you are is kind of an on-the-job training for your underlings. I once ventured to undertake a project without notifying my su superior. I developed a device to restrain a dangerous life form in case it became necessary to do so. I had it made for hedging risks to protect myself, but for better or worse, it was made public. It is always essential to consider the risks before one takes action. My superior's family stole the results of our research and ran off. However, I've chosen to never blow this issue out of proportion. I will only be reprimanded for my own mistakes, and surely my superior is also displeased with the actions of her family as well. When necessary, one must always be prepared to massage the truth to protect one's own position. It is not an exaggeration to say that this skill is vital for success. Good old Flappa. He's so... Not very good. What do you have to say? This may be a bit sudden coming from me, but I'd like you to have these. DNA splicers. Prison bottle. Soldo. They're all Pokemon-related items that Madame Lusamine planned to put in her collection. If you like, I can tell you what any of them do. Okay. Okay, DNA splicers are for Curum. Prison bottle is for Hoopa. Soldu is for Latios and Latios. I know that already. Something, something, cryogenic sleep. Okay. This isn't, like, vital plot stuff. But it is interesting. Hey, isn't this secret lab B? What happened to Wick? Oh, well. I guess I should head to the battle tree. I mostly wanted to see those files that I accidentally missed. So the battle tree is accessed through Pony Island. I'm not exactly sure how I get there.
I guess it's probably this way. Oh, hey. It's those two. How are you, Betty? If you collect all cells and cores, please visit the Aether base on Route 16 on Ula Ula Island. Using the reassembly unit there, and you can tra you can transform them into a Zygarde. Well, we were having you look into Zygarde for us, we were looking into the Z-Ring, too. It's so mysterious. To be talking about the Mega Evolution here in a region so far away from Kalos. But we are trainers. Rather than explaining it all in words, why don't we just show you what Mega Evolution is? Suddenly fighting! I guess this is when we get Mega Evolutions. Although... Espeon is not something that can Mega Evolve, so... Wake up, Nippy. This will probably just be non Alolan right here. Oh, never mind. Doesn't matter too much, though. You're not showing me what Mega Evolution is at all. You're just being generally decent at Pokemon. Sort of. No, Nabby, you don't need Dream Meteor. None of these things can Mega Evolve yet. Wow, even with Reflect Up? Oh, it was a crit. Now there's something that can Mega Evolve. If I let it make it evolve, that is. Oh, it did survive. Oh, and it's not mega evolving. I didn't expect that. Okay. So, are you going to make evolve with your last thing then? Oh, I guess so.
So I wonder if you're allowed to have a Mega Evolution and a Z-Move on the same team. My Pokémon each gave it their best. The trainer holds the Keystone, the Pokémon holds the Mega Stone. And that's how you can make your Pokémon Mega Evolve during battle. You can use the Z-Ring, so you must be able to use a Keystone that makes Mega Stones resonate. If you have a Keystone, you'll be able to make your Pokémon that hold a Mega Stone Mega Evolve. This is a Mega Stone that makes Alakazam Mega Evolve. It's called Alakazite. I'll give the Keystone and an Alakazite to you. Hooray! You know, when you think about it, the Z-Ring helps the feelings of a trainer reach his or her Pokémon, and makes it so it can use its Z-Power, right? It only follows that it should be able to achieve Mega Evolution, too. We'll be taking our leave now. Bon voyage! I guess they randomly appeared here, because this is on the way to the Battle Tree? So I must be going in the generally correct direction. Hopefully. Let's uh, fix up the damage to our team here. Pal. Have I not been this way? Rare trainer discovered! I must immediately make contact! What, what level are you? I think I was supposed to have gotten this way before. Or at least supposed to have seen this guy before. Do you have a sense for why you seem rare? You weren't born in Alola. For some reason, that's what I think. Well, that's true. Pony Grove. Man, there's like a lot of trainers and stuff that I don't really care about fighting. Oh, there's a side card. Pony Plains. I see another Zygarde. And the Pokemon of some kind. I guess I never did catch Eradicate, did I? You're level 56, so I'm supposed to be here now. Okay.
eventually this will get somewhere. Hooray! Radicate? Registered! This gourmet Pokemon in is particular about the tastes and freshness of its food. Restaurants where Raticate live have a good reputation. Some Ratatouille stuff going on here. There's something in this bush too. A level 57 Petalil. You could have evolved by now. A whole many times. Oh, there's birds too, I guess. I wasn't paying attention to where I was running. Oh, you're different. Yeah, you have defense. And you can call for help. Come on. Why doesn't Tailwind last very long? It's only like three turns, maybe two? There we go. Mandibuzz registered. It circles in the sky, keeping a keen eye out for Pokemon in a weakened state. Its choicest food is Cubone. Oops, I didn't mean to add to the party. I guess it steals Cubone's bone after eating it, and then wears it. Muscle wing. Pony meadow. Well, 
Do I have to go through Pony Meadow to get to the Battle Tree? I don't think so. X defense. I was a rising star who spent all my time in battle, and now I'm a veteran. So trainers evolve too. Oh no! I finally missed with high jump kick. I don't like Skarmory. It looks so much smaller than when it was a totem Pokemon. And then Gyarados. Okay. If you insist on using a turn using that, that's fine. I don't think it'll help you very much. Yep. I say I'm a veteran, but the path of Pokemon runs steep. If you keep cherishing your Pokemon, you can become a veteran too. With those inspirational words, I think it's time we cut the video. Now, we didn't accomplish a whole lot yet, but we're on the way to one of the post-game sections. We're in a post-game section, but we're on the way to the, the big one. So, until next time, thank you for watching.